Wars are no longer fought only on battlefields. In the modern world, a new kind of war is being waged, one fought in cyberspace. Hackers, governments, and rogue cyber armies are shaping the future of warfare in ways never imagined before. But how did we get here? And who really controls the digital battlefield? It all began with the rise of the internet. In the late 20th century, nations started realizing the potential of digital networks, not just for communication, but for espionage and control. The first known cyber attack dates back to the 1980s, when the Morris worm infected thousands of computers, showing the world just how vulnerable systems were. But what started as experiments and pranks soon turned into powerful weapons in the hands of governments and criminal organizations. Fast forward to the 21st century, Stuxnet, the first digital weapon, was deployed against Iran's nuclear program. This sophisticated cyber attack wasn't just about stealing information, it was designed to physically destroy infrastructure. The world had now entered an era where software could cause real-world destruction. Soon, cyber attacks became a tool of political and military strategy. In 2017, the WannaCry ransomware attack crippled hospitals, banks, and businesses across the globe. Not long after, the NotPetya attack was launched, causing billions of dollars in damages and being labeled as one of the most destructive cyber attacks in history. Today, governments have their own cyber warfare units. China's PLA Unit 61398, Russia's Fancy Bear, and the United States Cyber Command. These groups don't just defend, they attack, disrupt, and manipulate. In 2016, Russian hackers were accused of interfering with the U.S. elections, proving that cyber warfare wasn't just about data theft. It could alter global politics. Countries are now in an arms race, not with missiles, but with code. Digital espionage, election meddling, and large-scale sabotage are becoming the new normal. But it's not just nations fighting this war. Independent groups like Anonymous and LulzSec have taken hacking into their own hands. While some fight against government oppression, others expose corporate corruption. Hacktivists have leaked classified government documents, disrupted extremist organizations, and even taken down financial institutions they see as corrupt. The question remains, are they digital heroes or just another unpredictable force in the cyber battlefield? Cybercrime has also evolved into a multi-billion dollar industry. Ransomware attacks have become increasingly sophisticated, with hackers targeting hospitals, financial institutions, and even entire cities. The Colonial Pipeline attack in 2021 disrupted fuel supplies across the U.S., proving how vulnerable critical infrastructure is to digital threats. Meanwhile, cyber criminal syndicates like Revel and Darkseid operate with near impunity, extorting millions from businesses worldwide. The dark web has become a marketplace for cyber criminals to sell stolen data, hacking tools, and even entire digital identities. As artificial intelligence evolves, cyber warfare is becoming more autonomous. AI-driven attacks can bypass security systems in seconds. Quantum computing threatens to break even the strongest encryptions. And with the rise of deep fake technology, information warfare is reaching dangerous new heights. Misinformation campaigns can manipulate entire populations, making it nearly impossible to separate truth from fiction. False narratives spread faster than real news and trust in digital communication is eroding. The use of AI in cyber warfare is not limited to offense. Defensive AI systems are also being developed, creating an ongoing technological arms race. Nation states are now developing cyber weapons with devastating consequences. China's Great Cannon can take down entire online platforms, while North Korea's Lazarus Group has been linked to large-scale financial heists funding the regime. In the Middle East, cyber warfare between Israel and Iran has led to attacks on power grids, water systems, and defense networks. The battlefield is invisible, but the damage is very real. These cyber weapons are capable of not just stealing data, but completely dismantling infrastructure. One cyber attack could plunge entire nations into darkness, disrupt economies, and even lead to real-world casualties. As more of our daily lives move online, the risks increase. Smart cities, interconnected networks, and cloud-based systems make life more efficient, but also more vulnerable. Imagine waking up to find that every traffic light in your city has been hacked, causing complete chaos, or that your bank accounts have been wiped clean overnight. Cyber warfare is no longer a futuristic concept. 
it is our reality. From energy grids to financial systems, from hospitals to national defense, every critical infrastructure is at risk. Governments are investing billions in cyber defense, but no system is completely secure. Every click, every login, and every piece of data is part of a larger war. The question isn't whether we are in a cyber war, it's whether we are prepared for what's coming next. Cybersecurity experts warn that the biggest threat isn't just external hackers, but insider threats. Employees or individuals with access to critical data who may sell information, leak sensitive materials, or sabotage systems from within. Cyber defenses may be strong, but human error remains a major weak point. Many of the world's largest cyber attacks, including the infamous Snowden leaks and WikiLeaks data dumps, were possible because of individuals inside the system. The role of social media in cyber warfare is another growing concern. Platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok have been weaponized for spreading propaganda, fake news, and cyber espionage. The Cambridge Analytica scandal showed how personal data could be used to manipulate elections, target users with political ads, and shape public opinion. Governments now deploy social media bots and troll farms to push narratives, suppress dissent, and divide populations. The battle for digital influence is just as critical as any cyber attack on infrastructure. Looking ahead, future wars may not involve traditional weapons at all. Instead, conflicts will be fought over data, artificial intelligence, and control over cyberspace. The rise of the metaverse, blockchain, and decentralized finance, DeFi, introduces new vulnerabilities. Imagine a scenario where a hacker drains billions from digital banks or manipulates blockchain transactions to cause financial collapse. The digital economy is expanding, but so are the threats. If you found this video informative, don't forget